All new at six now, a local lawyer accused of making porn with female inmates across the Bay Area and Central Florida. And now Pinellas County detectives are trying to figure out how many times that he did this. Our Clifton French is live at the Pinellas County Jail. And Clifton, you spoke to this attorney earlier today. I wonder what, what does he have to say about this? Yeah, believe it or not, he told me that he was getting an attorney for himself. And tonight I am learning he wasn't even representing any of the women he was visiting here. Quick to get back into his Tampa apartment this morning, attorney Andrew Spark even left his briefcase sitting outside. Did you solicit a client for oral sex? Without answering our questions, he said a few words to us through a closed door, telling me he, an attorney himself, was in the process of getting his own lawyer. Go figure. Sheriff Bob Galtieri tells us he said the same thing to deputies. Still, the revelations about what was going on inside of the Pinellas County Jail, hard to believe. The sheriff saying Spark took advantage of the private rooms for attorney client meetings by making porn with inmates using his iPad. He had this whole thing scripted where it wasn't just, you know, take out the tablet and start filming her engaged in the sex act. It was setting it up with filming her inmate ID in her uniform. This weekend, he planned to do just that with this woman, 28 year old Antoinette Napolitano. She would perform the sex acts. He would deposit money into her commissary. This time, deputies knew what he was up to and caught him in the act. It turns out, the sheriff says, he met this woman in the past, both at the jail and on the street. Through a, a website that we're all very familiar with, Backpage.com, where Napolitano posted prostitution ads. Spark has also been visiting another woman, 25-year-old Shauna Baselli. She's currently serving 40 years for having sex with a seven year old girl with her boyfriend. She didn't agree to the acts with Spark. The sheriff says he knew Baselli from before her arrest as well, meeting her at several porn conventions. Baselli was uh, surprised to see Spark uh, because again, he wasn't representing her and he had not had any contact with her since December 2016 at the porn convention. Tonight, it's still not clear how many women he had done this with, but it is clear female inmates knew who he was. It was a word of mouth thing as well, so he was getting referrals. Yeah, and we also discovered Spart worked for the Attorney General's office for seven years. He left while he was under investigation uh, for some inappropriate behavior. That investigation was dropped after he left the Attorney General's office. I also found out that Spark can continue to practice law for now. In fact, he doesn't even have to report this incident to the Florida Bar unless he is convicted or he takes a plea. I'm reporting live in Pinellas County tonight. Clifton French, ABC Action News.